I guess you guys are wondering, that's just a spaceship. But anyway, let's get into this episode, man. Uh, DC Legends of Tomorrow, Season 4, Episode 2, Witch Hunt. And for the most part in this episode, we just saw, you know, the departure of yet another legend. Uh, Nate, you know, spent much of, most, of the, most of the majority of this episode with the Time Bureau. You know, and with the time, Seismograph, you know, out of whack. The team goes into the Salem Witch Trials, you know, to, to discover, like, some magical discrepancy. So... It's really cool to also see, you know, John Constantine into into the mix too. You know, now that the you know now the Wave Rider is even more dynamic, you know, than it ever has been because you know, unfortunately though, you know, we get to see the signs of bro bromance between Ray and Nate, you know, come to an end for now at least. Because you know, you know, Nate's spending more time on Earth now. You know, he's with his father. You know, trying to rekindle, you know, and fix a lot of stuff. You know, he's basically trying to fix that broken bridge right there between the two of them. Not only that, but you know. With the departure of Amaya, you know, the woman that he loved dearly to the depth of his heart, deepest depths of his heart, with her gone, you know, the man is just pretty much just in limbo, you know, just wallowing around and, you know, pretty much just being hollow. He's not really the Nate that we all know and love, you know, because with Amaya, whenever Amaya was there, we saw a lot of life in, in Nate, you know, and he changed as a man, you know, throughout the seasons, you know, so it's really um, hard to see that because, you know, I really, in the comics, I believe Ted Cord was like a part of, you had the same similar relationship i guess that's like a play on you know i think the ted cords uh situation where he actually gets killed or at least both of them do um or the whole golden blue beetle uh tree uh group or well or whatever it's called i'm sorry i don't really, really recall the the team name there but i guess from what I, from what I can tell that group is a play off of uh, ray and nate's uh bromance and science real relationship you know and just so but like like I was saying, to see Nate actually depart in this way is really sad, man. I really see to say, to say the least. Um, but not only does that, because now we got to see how Ray, you know, moves on with his life. You know, now that Nate's not really, you know, on the wave ride like that anymore. Like I said before, creating even much more of a dynamic. And um, then we also get to see, you know, the dynamic between Rory and Constantine. You know, Constantine doesn't, you know, doesn't really mess with. Rory's sense of humor and just how his antics are and how he is. So it really, it'll be really interesting to see how those two get along, you know, as the season progresses. Um, I really just want to see how this season is because there's a lot of dynamics, you know, like I said before. This whole episode really, is just, this whole season really is just about dynamics, you know, because so many characters are off this the show now. You know, it's just the core, so a few of the core members, but now we won't really see much of Nate anymore. So I'm really curious to see how that goes, but this that's all I really got for you guys, man. Uh, this has been you will share sweet if you guys like the video subscribe to the channel uh, if you guys have any requests please let me know in the comments section below it's on there always welcome they always will be this has been you will share speaks when i love you guys god bless like let me know what you guys think are you do you think ray's gonna be okay with you know nate being on earth more or or working with the time bureau more let me know what the comment would you let me know what you guys think about this episode and just about the series period in the comment section below as well god bless